Bending 2-inch EMT conduit can be a simple and easy process. There are just a few basic steps that can help you get the perfect bend every time. The first step to the perfect bend is making sure you're using the correct shoe and roller support and that they are set up properly. For 2-inch EMT conduit, we are using the 2-inch EMT bending shoe and the 1.5 to 2-inch EMT roller support unit. Start by placing the roller support on the bender. To adjust the roller support, turn the adjusting bolts until the roller support is about 5 eighths of an inch from the base. We recommend 5 eighths as a starting point, but you may need to make small adjustments after your first bend. Make sure both adjusting bolts make contact with the bender frame. Raise the engagement pedal and rotate the assembly so the 2 inch rollers are on top. Now you can mount the shoe. After plugging in the bender, flip the hand pendant toggle switch to the unload position and press the jog button. Stop the shoe when the arrow is 10 degrees below the zero mark. This places the shoe in the proper position to load the conduit. Now you are ready to bend 2 inch EMT conduit. Place the conduit into the bender. This conduit should slide over the support rollers, through the shoe groove, and through the hook. Make sure the conduit extends past the hook at least two inches. This helps prevent distortion at the end of the conduit. Now you are ready to bend two inch EMT conduit. Step on the engaging pedal and raise the rollers to come in contact with the conduit. Keep foot pressure on the engaging pedal and flip the bend unload switch to the bend position. Then press the jog button. The conduit will pull the support rollers against the stop. Foot pressure can then be removed from the engaging pedal. We are making a 90 degree bend. To achieve the 90 degree bend, we will need to consult the spring back chart on the top of the bender. If your roller support is out of adjustment, the condition of the bent conduit will indicate how far out of adjustment it is. If creased, the roller support is extremely loose and will require two to three turns of the adjusting bolts to raise the roller support. Extremely ripple bends will require one to two complete turns of the adjusting bolts. If just a few ripples, it will only require a half to one turn of the adjusting bolts. Please note as you begin the bend, if sufficient foot pressure will not pull the rollers over to the stops, the roller support will need to be lowered using the adjusting bolts. 